I'm Toby and this is Sea Life. Sweet husband busy in the kitchen again today. This is a beautiful day and uh, we're, we're getting uh, kind of a late start but it's all right. And uh, Daniel's making, what are you making Daniel? Oatmeal crisper skillet cookie, but we're not going to do it in the skillet. Oatmeal crisper yeah. skillet cookies that he's not going to do in the skillet. How are you going to do this? I want to just put it in one of them Purex pans. He's going to put it Same in thing. a Purex pan and wing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Jacob's got his bread in the oven. We just put it in the oven. And it's looking huge. You're supposed to salt your eggplant and leave it salted for like three hours because it has so much water in it. And then I, I went in the refrigerator to get it out and wow, there was a lot of water that came off of that. You would be surprised. So anyway, this is my first time making baked egg, eggplant parmesan. And here's the recipe. I know you can't see it too good. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Let me read this recipe to you. I thought it sounded wonderful when I read it. Like I said, I got the eggplants out of my garden. I'm so proud. And, and so, here's how it's going to go. The eggplant slices are coated with breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese and baked between layers of tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese for a filling Italian-inspired meal. Add fresh garlic to base and basil to taste. One, one used, oh, oh no, it says I used two to four cloves of fresh garlic and five to ten leaves of freshly harvested basil in the sauce. And fresh basil layered in one of the layers adds a lot of fresh flavor. Ooh, that sounds so good. So, and it says the ingredients are two each eggplant peeled and cut into one half inch slices. One tablespoon salt or as needed. One cup Italian bread crumbs, a fourth cup Parmesan cheese, two eggs beaten, one 28 ounce jar of garlic and tomato pasta sauce. One fourth cup grated Parmesan cheese and one 16 ounce package shredded mozzarella cheese or as needed. A half teaspoon <coughs> dried basil. Ooh wee, that does sound so good. The first step is to put your eggplant slices in a colander and sprinkle both sides with salt. Allow to sit for three hours and wipe excess moisture from your eggplant slices with a paper towel. So I've got my eggplant slices that have been sitting for a good three hours. Now I'm going to wipe these. It doesn't say anything about rinsing that salt off and I thought that was interesting. So I'm just going to wipe them off and put them on this baking sheet and, uh, see, and, and see how it goes. I'm just setting them on the baking sheet after I wipe them with this paper towel. Okay, it looks like this once you get the salt off and all the excess moisture out. Now I've got a big bowl here. I'm going to put my panko breadcrumbs in and what should have been Italian, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and put Italian seasonings in that. Four cup of Parmesan cheese. And I guess the egg just makes it stick to it really nicely. And I think this is going to be great. I don't know. I, I wonder if, um, if 
I missed where I was supposed to put in my seasonings or what. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to check back, be sure I'm doing this right. But so far, so good. I may have to sprinkle some seasonings on. Daniel's over here doing some dishes for me. He's so good to help help me the way he does. And I, in my family, it's always been all hands on deck. Everybody works together. So, and it, that, it just makes everything so much easier. Just put them in the oven like that. It's five minutes on each side. It says to uh, use 28 ounces of spaghetti sauce uh, when we put it into the next pan, or when it comes out, to use 28 ounces of spaghetti sauce. Well, I don't have spaghetti sauce, but I do have plenty of beautiful tomatoes out of the garden. And what I'm going to do is just pre-a them in this blender and put some Italian seasonings in them. And we're going to run with that. For my homemade tomato sauce, I put in three large tomatoes, two, about two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and a teaspoon of garlic, and I pre it together with my little blender, and I'm just going to put that down in there. And I know it doesn't look the same color or anything, but I'm sure it's going to be great. I can, I can even taste it. What I did was I changed it up just a little bit, and I just sprinkled Italian seasoning over the top. And then I'm going to put my remaining Parmesan cheese over it and put it in the oven at 350 for 35 minutes. And we're on to the next recipe, which is going to be mozzarella stuffed pesto turkey meatballs. Well, we couldn't find the pesto, so it's just going to be mozzarella stuffed turkey meatballs. So here we go. We're going to put the breadcrumbs in. We've got a cup of breadcrumbs. And we've got two eggs. We've got uh, some garlic and some onion here. Let's see, we got a cup of finely cho chopped onion and four garlic cloves, minced. So we got that all together. Now then, we're gonna mix this all up and we're gonna make our little balls and we're gonna put cheese in the middle of them. And I thought, Everybody's going to love it. My family loves a lot of cheese. All of the seasonings, the onions, everything in here. And we're just going to take a little chunk of cheese. If I can find a small enough one. That's too small. I'm going to put it in here. Okay, I have got a lot of meat mixture here. I'm going to make a whole nother pan. So. She's sticking up. You just put a little piece of cheese in the middle of these. And put them in the oven, and I believe it's another 350 degrees. It's meatballs. 375 degrees. And you're going to cook these meatballs for 35 minutes at 375 degrees. We made up a little spaghetti, and uh, we left our meatballs uncovered with the Alfredo because some people don't like the cheese. So we went and made a pan of meatballs that did not have the cheese in them and put the alfredo to the side. We made up some spaghetti and there's our, our eggplant parmesan and Jacob's beautiful bread. And uh, this is gonna be a great dinner, you guys.